Hey guys, I have a super simple success tip for you today. So most of us have goals and we're just picturing them all out in the future and they're standing there, they look awesome, but they're so hard to get to, you know, um, they could be weeks, months, and years away. And no wonder they seem so scary and we never get there is because we keep thinking of all the things that we need to do to get to that one place that we just want right now. But when we have these big goals, it's really good to just break them up into smaller chunks so they're more manageable. And I know you know this already, but I wanted to tell you why. So there's this thing called activa activation energy, and it's a principle of momentum. So it's kind of like if you're looking at a, this is going backwards, I think. I don't know how I'm recording this. Um, if you're looking at a diagram, it's a big jump, it's a hill, and then it comes down and you're smoothly just kind of got your momentum. So the best example I can think of is in the morning. Let's say it's a cold morning, 6 a.m., um, it's, you, your alarm goes off, you don't want to get up. The hardest part is to rip the covers off of you, put your feet on the ground, and stand up. But once you're up, you're fine. You're just going along with your day, right? Or if you're sitting on the couch and you're just really tired, you don't want to work out, but you think you should, the hardest part is to get up, put your shoes on, and get out the door. But once you get to the gym, you're fine. You don't think about stuff like that. You just want to get a good workout in. So activation energy is these small successes that really you can do to get the momentum going and keep it going. Because these small successes are going to make you feel good and you're just going to want to say, oh, what can I do tomorrow? Because I I hit all my little goals today. So um, if you're wanting to lose 50 pounds and you know you can lose 50 pounds in a year, that's going to seem so far away. No wonder we kind of revert back into our old habits when it comes to eating. So what is that one thing you can do today or tomorrow that will help you get to your goal? What, is it, like, what are those behaviors that you're going to be doing when you get to your goal? So maybe switch up your breakfast instead of your whole eating schedule. Change what you're going to eat for breakfast or switch out... Um, I don't know, something unhealthy for an apple or have a salad with chicken instead of a chicken sandwich and fries. So just change one thing and you'll feel good about it and you're going to want to do it again the next day. So that's the momentum you're trying to get. When I was starting coaching, I was picturing the big picture. I was like, okay, so eventually I guess I'm going to quit my job. I'm going to have to... Like, find a place to get certified, take the quizzes, do research. It's going to take years. Oh, that's way too much work. <laughs> I'd rather just stay here safe with a job that I hate in Miami. I hate it. So, I just figured out four bullet points I can do tomorrow to make myself move a little bit closer to the goal that is going to probably happen in three years. So, that's how I did it. And I kept going back and forth, but I just stuck with the small goals, what got me moving a little bit towards a bigger goal. So, I know you guys know this already, but there's something a little more, more powerful about it when you do tell someone of what your goal is and what you're going to do that day. So I want you to show up for yourself and actually put it in the chat or in the comments. And oh, this isn't a live video, there's no chat. Put it in the comments. When people write down what their goals are going to be and the more specific they get, like I am going to do X at 2 p.m. tomorrow in my bedroom or I'm going to ask my boss for a raise at 3 p.m. in his office. If you write that down, <laughs> the more specific you get, it actually from studies shows that you're 75% more likely to succeed with that goal than you would have if you didn't write it down. So same thing with telling people too. And I think it was it came out a little bit stronger when you tell people your goals. So go ahead and put it in the chat. What goal are you going to do? What is your goal? And then what are you going to do right now to move one step, just 1% closer to that goal? So you can start to create this momentum. All right. Well, I look forward to hearing from you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.